Halton Regional Police Firearms and Weapons Amnesty Program rolled out earlier this year in June. The results from a single media release far exceeded expectations. Seven imitation firearms, 31 pellet guns, six prohibited handguns, two prohibited rifles, nine restricted handguns, 568 pounds of ammunition, 22 prohibited magazines, 54 knives and swords, eight prohibited weapons including switchblades, a butterfly knife, a taser, and brass knuckles. These results are a testament to the impact individuals with a common goal can have when they come together and get behind a collective cause. And it is why we have decided to run this amnesty indefinitely. Make no mistake, firearms and weapons kill. Removing unwanted or unregistered firearms, ammunition and weapons from homes and businesses make our community safe by eliminating the chance of them falling into the hands of criminals and being used in violent crimes. Many surrendered firearms previously owned by a deceased relative, like a gentleman in Burlington who had his father's rifles. And they were just hanging on the wall there for years and then grandkids came over and pointed out the firearms and he's like, oh, maybe we should do something about these, put them in a closet. Years later, they read this media release and thought, oh, here's an opportunity for us to get rid of them. According to the OPP, 90% of all crime-related handguns traced by police in 2022 were brought in from the United States. You can see the prohibited handguns. We were really shocked to get some of those in there. We have uh, you know, a couple that'll fit in your front pocket and the person turning those ones in didn't really want to tell us much, which is fine. It was just good to get them off the street. One of the catalysts for the program came from concerned citizens reports prohibited weapons being sold out of variety stores. We had one in Burlington and one in Oakville. And as a result of that, we executed some search warrants and seized a bunch of firearms. And at that point, we realized maybe there's an education piece that we can do here. Because a lot of parents don't realize that some of these weapons are prohibited. And if your child has one of these at home, what's the purpose for it? Community members who want to surrender a firearm or weapon should not take them to the police station themselves. We continue to encourage and invite those interested in surrendering a firearm or weapon through this amnesty to visit our website. Here you can learn more about prohibited weapons in Canada and schedule a pickup. Officers will retrieve the weapons, no questions asked, and with no risk of prosecution, and ensure that they are safely destroyed. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.